Most people in America are familiar with what the red, white, and blue means in the American flag. We don't really need to have additional colors because the three colors that are of the original design, even though we're not using that same one from way back in time, mean the same thing. To most American citizens who have a indication of what our military has done for us, not only across the nation, but around the world. The white is for the purity of the American patriotic soul that says we are American people, we blend together to protect American food, resources, and technology today. And maybe that's a different way to talk about it in some way. The next color is blue, and the blue stands for the tears that have been shed for all the people that we've lost both at home domestically through civil wars and gang wars and, well, ethnocentricity oriented wars that are sort of called just like bloody Hatfields and McClans to the point of being a servant to American citizens around the world going to Baghdad, going to other places that are trying to ruin the world. We also have the color red, which stands for the blood that has been shed for every American citizen who is legitimately here. In other words, you were born here, you were raised here, you have the birthright of here, and you're not here to harm other people, and that is what we hold most dear.